You don't demand anything, Jakaya. Certainly not from her. If you're risking your life out there, I'll demand what the clan requires. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. You're Mandalore, the Avenger. You have responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell me. Who's this? Jakaya Ordo. One of my best. He managed to avoid my notice for too long, but now I've put him to work. Though I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> I would gladly go back to being an unknown, Great Mandalore. I prefer the talk of warriors to the endless jabbering of politics. <laughs> the curse of being skilled at both, you old rancor. <laughs> so you're the one. Not sure if I should call you commander. Well, I'm not one for formalities. Friend is fine, if it's all the same to you. Friend it is. Bersha in Mandoa. The fact is, I wanted to meet you. I only know your reputation. I don't know you. It's my job to take a hard look at anyone this close to Mandalore. My kind and yours have worked together a long time, Sith. As a result, we've both grown powerful. I don't understand your power, but you've got more in your two hands than a carrier full of heavy artillery. Well, it sounds like he knows me quite well then. <laughs> I've worked with Shay a long time with no problems. What changed? You don't clean a gun when you're under fire. I keep things running around here because everything has a place. Except you. It was time to get your measure. And? I've seen your face. Looked into your eyes. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Satisfied? For now. Good. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Some clan grumbling to track down. More than the usual complaints. Ras and I will check into it. Jakaya out. <clears throat> His brother. They're a family of Mandalorians. Lost a sister a few years back. Hmm. Something wrong? That's the first time he's mentioned a clan issue. He oversees a lot of the day-to-day -day details without a word. Do you trust him to deal with this? Yes. If I didn't, you wouldn't have my support. I may grow restless at the jabbering of politics, now. but I will do right by my clans. He's better for rooting out this kind of thing anyway. He kept an assassin's knife out of my gut more than once. You're a leader. How would you deal with unrest in the ranks? As harshly as possible. Nah. With patience. If a group has a problem, it's usually for a reason. Maybe they see something you don't. We have more in common than I thought. Mandalorians must be allowed to speak out, to think for themselves, to be effective. Jakaya demands order. Everything working together as a whole. I understand, and it keeps it all running. But I don't work that way. Well, looks like I've got reports to review on escort missions we've been overseeing. Jakaya snuck them into the transmission. Sneaky Jakar. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. My my uh, my dark side Sith, who is not a saboteur. She is a loyalist, and I do believe she took her seat by force. She basically killed everyone she could kill. She actually did. No, that's not true. On Onderon, she did not kill the woman because she wanted to be all mysterious. You Stop the solder. Anything, Jakaya. Certainly not from her. If you're risking your life out there. I'll demand what the clan requires. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. Okay, let's see. You're Mandalore, the Avenger. You have responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell me. Who's this? Jakaya Ordo. One of my best. He managed to avoid my notice for too long, but now I've put him to work. Though I'm having second thoughts. I would gladly go back to being an unknown great Mandalore. I prefer the talk of warriors to the endless jabbering of politics. <laughs> the curse of being skilled at both, you old rancor. <laughs> so you're the one. Not sure if I should call you commander. Oh, here you get it. It has something to do with that then. It's because if you're a saboteur or not. I'm always glad to have you here as well, Adair. 
<laughs> the mad lad is forgotten and dead. Prefer my old title. Not necessary. The need for a commander is done. Understood. I like to be clear on these things. Helps me get your measure. Interesting. The fact is, Darth Knox, I only know your reputation. I don't know you. It's my job to take a hard look at anyone this close to Mandalore. My kind and yours have worked together a long time, Sith. As a result, we've both grown powerful. I don't understand your power, but you've got more in your two hands than a carrier full of heavy artillery. <laughs> he called me Darth Nox! I've not heard that in a long time! <laughs> speak this plainly to Mandalore. I speak my mind, that's all. She's had a dozen occasions to stick a knife in my ribs for insubordination. But I'm still here. Boot lickers are only good for licking boots. So what happens now? I've seen your face. Looked into your eyes. That's what I wanted. Satisfied? For now. Good. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Some clan grumbling to track down. More than the usual complaints. Ras and I will check into it. Jakaya out. Ras? His brother. They're a family of Mandalorians. Lost a sister a few years back. Hmm. Something wrong? That's the first time he's mentioned a clan issue. He oversees a lot of the day-to-day -day details without a word. I know, Selim. He looked into my eyes and saw pure darkness and hunger. <laughs> Uh, ooh, I'm gonna struggle with this one. Mark. Mark to Tosh Draws? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly enough. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Beefcake wrecking? Yeah, that's exactly it. But she is basically as well. Believe me, she was worse than the Mad Lad. Uh, she is worse than the Mad Lad. Um. You should step in. If it troubles you, take action. I did. Takaya is better at rooting out these sort of problems. He kept an assassin's knife out of my gut more than once. You're a leader. How would you deal with unrest in the ranks? Harshly. Division makes all of you vulnerable. That could cost lives. You have more in common with Takaya than I thought. He demands order. Without it, he says you have a mob instead of allies. Well, looks like I've got reports to review on escort missions we've been overseeing. Chikaya snuck them into the transmission. Sneaky Chikar. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, bye. <laughs> interesting, interesting. He called me Darth Nox. That was great to hear. That was great. Um, so... I cannot... I cannot... At, at like the top of my head recall hearing Jakaya Ordo's name before but I have a feeling I'm supposed to know who it is and I can't for the life of me pinpoint it right now <laughs> 